Hey, welcome back to another episode of Get Swifty. My name's Bo, and this time around, we're going to be having a look at how we can get a music kit token refreshing inside our app. Um, this avoids all the backend stuff, and it's a bit of a sore point for me because I think it's something that Apple should be taking care of for us developers, and we shouldn't have to go through and generate these tokens ourselves. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that within your app. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new Xcode project. Um, this will just be a single screen app. So I'm going to call this music kit demo. I'm going to use Swift UI. So what we'll do first is create our JWT file and JWT stands for JSON web token. For this, I'm just going to go with a struct. Now the first thing we need is our team ID. And usually this looks like, I don't know, something like that. And you can find that on your developer account in App Store Connect. And this is the idea of the key that you generate through Apple. And it looks something like this. And then of course you need the auth token. Now this usually gets sent to you in a file that you can download from Apple after you've generated this token. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna put some gibberish in here. And it tends to look a little bit like this. Okay, and now that we have all these ingredients, we need a way to combine all these and create ourselves a token. Now, I don't know how to write the code to do that, but thankfully IBM have a Swift project online on GitHub that we can incorporate into ours and have that do all the work. So if we go file, Swift packages, add package dependency, and pass that in through here. Yep, next, and that will download and add the package to our project. Now we have that, we'll import. And then we can write our generate token function. First thing we need in here is the header. And we'll pass in the key ID to that. Next up, we need to create some claims. And this here is part of the Swift JWT package. And what we'll do here is make use of that JWT claim that we just created. So the ISS will be the team ID. The IAT will be the date, and the expiry can be, well, whatever we want it to be, up to six months. So let's try 60 times 60, 24, and I'm just gonna put in 100 for 100 days. The next thing we need to do is create the JWT. Okay, so now let's convert our auth token into a data object. You can do your own error handling there. Uh, this will be our token that we can use to authorize ourselves with music kit. Of course, we need to do a catch down here. So one thing you can do here is store it in user defaults. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, I've created it because I struggled to find the correct answers on how to do this within my own project, which I'm yet to release. And the current project that I'm building doesn't have any backend support going on. And to continually having to update this token every couple of months when it expires just become too much of a headache for me. So I've decided to bundle it all into my app and have the app take care of it. Even though I think Apple should be the one that does that. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. If you're a subscriber of my channel and have an app of your own that you'd like to share with me, please do. You can leave it in the comments or you can send it to me directly through Twitter. That's fine too. Um, and what I would love to do is be able to showcase these at the end of my video. So um, I might do one at the end of every video. And if we get a lot of them coming in, I'll do multiple. And so I'll be the first to start or just show, show off my latest project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.